Hey, what's going on, guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today, got some good news for you guys in the land of RCs and what's new. So what's new is Kyosho is coming out with some new vehicles here. Now, this is on the, I believe this is like the Japanese website, whatever, Japan. And so uh, I just got notification last night and like, oh, the Outlaw Rampage. Okay, there's a new one. Like, wow, it's been definitely been, you know, updated and stuff like that. And I saw like as far as the Neo 3.0, pretty sick looking body. It's a nitro vehicle, but still looks really awesome. Uh, I don't hate nitro. It's just that I like to kind of discharge it and be done kind of thing. Um, that tuning and stuff like that. Anyway, let's get in. Let's. I'm going to skim over these things and then you guys can leave comments down below. I'm going to be taking pre-orders on the Outlaw Rampage this week based on uh, talks from my uh, Kyosho rep uh, when we were talking this morning. And he's like, hey, you saw, you saw the video? I said, yeah, man. So he's like, they're going to be coming out here. I'm gonna, We're going to start taking pre-orders this week. So once that happens, so if you are not on our mailing list, jump on there. And, uh, you know, we'll find out what the price is. And I'll do another YouTube video on it. Say, hey, we're doing, you know, we're taking pre-orders on this vehicle. It's going to be this much, and it should be out around this time. I'll do another video on that part of it. For now, it's kind of giving you guys a heads up on what's coming soon. So anyway, with that, uh, let's just dive right into this one here. Let's take a look at it. I love the way it looks. Um, it's cool. It's got the tires in the rear there. Again, I don't know what that price is going to be either. Um, it's got this little cage that was on there. wasn't on there before. Neither were the two extra tires that were on there. So not it's not bad. I just don't know what that price is going to be. It looks like it's got aluminum shocks that it didn't have before. It's got a little aluminum skid plate on here. It looks like the bumper looks to be the same anyhow, but it's got maybe some extra little little bits and pieces on that part of it. And I don't have a picture underneath, but I know there's a skid plate skid plate underneath here. Uh, but it does have that motor over axle, so that's that on that. Uh, but it looks really, really cool. I just wish it was four-wheel drive. That'd be cool. I know we can't have everything, but, you know, I kind of like that four-wheel drive. Uh, you know, this makes it a little bit more, um, you know, where you can just take it in more places than having just two-wheel drive on that part of it. Uh, let's see here. But it still looks, for the most part, I mean, I like just on the body aesthetics alone, it looks really cool. The front end looks great. So that's that one. All right. I'm going to guess somewhere it's going to be around 200-something bucks. I don't, I, if it's over 250 that's going to be push, really pushing it because it's a two-wheel drive and it's brush system. So hopefully it's going to be low 200s. That's what I'm... I mean, if you have to cut the price, then take the tires out. <laughs> How much are we talking now? So another 10 bucks off or something. Let's get to the Duke boys. So you got the Charger here. Now these two, the Chevelle and the actual um, Charger, the Hemi Orange. That's cool. The Dodge Charger. Um, this one look, Okay, so I, I get it here. So apparently... See, I'm not, you know, I don't know a lot about the muscle cars enough in regards to that, but they have, they had the mirror on one side as far as the driver's side, and then they didn't have a mirror over on the passenger side in the picture here. So uh, assuming, I mean, you guys, some of you guys that are more into muscle cars than I uh, would say, oh yeah, that that's proper, that would be correct, that there was no mirror over on the driver's, or on the passenger side. Um, so I like, okay. But it still has the phaser, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that chassis. The, the only, my only gripe is just the drive shaft itself. It's plastic. I would like it to be aluminum because when you put a little bit of extra juice to it, it starts to vibrate and everything like that. So that's just, that's my only gripe, man. The rest of the chassis is perfect. I don't have any problems with it. Um, I, I had mine as far as my um, Hellcat, and it's great. Uh, looking at the back here, it looks pretty good. It doesn't have like all that like I would I maybe in person it, it'll look better because that orange might be a little bit hard to pick up like here it looks really good so the front of it all right um yeah again I was told like the price should be like around it might be like that 219 price again just like the Hellcat so just like this um Chevelle I like the Chevelle as well so they they had the Chevelle before it was a uh, blue and with the white stripes on it, it was it was a nice vehicle as well. I had no problems on it. It was that price point was crazy. It was over three hundred bucks. Yeah, so it was crazy. Uh, so this one again, it's gonna be somewhere right around that two hundred and twenty dollar mark is what uh, I was kind of rep was telling me. 
So looks pretty good. And it's probably got the little light buckets in there as well. So I'm definitely digging that part of it. Nice stance to it. Looks cool with those the rims on there and everything. I like what they did too because they have like the screw that's on there and it's just the head. It's not that whole bolt, you know, the nut that would be on there. Make it it kind of kills the whole like trying to get that scale look a little bit. So just how it has that little piece that's in there, just a screw head more or less. Um, it looks looks better. Looks it's cleaner. So I definitely I don't have any problems with that part of it. So yeah, that one looks really cool. Both those, I mean, they all look good as far as what they did. And I really like the paint job on this one as far as the Neo. Uh, this is the ST. This is a 3.0. Looks cool. I don't know how fast this thing is or anything like that. Uh, but it looks really good. I, I like the paint scheme on it. I think the paint schemes look better on the Nitro version than on the electric version. I'm just saying. Come, Kyosho. What happened? <laughs> Sometimes, like, they had some really cool stuff that, um, that are on the, just on the Nitro version. So, it's like, man, why can't we have it on the electric? But, uh, yeah, um, I'm just gonna, this is going to be a quick thing, so you guys can always research more on this. Anyhow, I don't have links to the website to kind of give you more information, but as of right now, these things are not out in the wild in the U.S. as of yet, unless you're just an early adopter that was able to get one prior to that. Uh, to do some testing or what have you. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you are new here, definitely consider subscribing. Also, you can check out our website, omgrc.com. And uh, like once I have these things out, we'll definitely uh, get some links uh, to newer videos where once the videos come out that we can start taking pre-orders, then I'll have links to it. So you can go to our website. We take payment plans as far as like we take PayPal, Amazon Pay, uh, Klarna, which is a payment system as well. So it's like kind of like a buy now, pay later deal. Uh, you know, all your major uh, regular cards and stuff like that. Anyway, so that's that. I definitely appreciate you guys watching as always. Till next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care. Thank you for watching.